iOS 26.1 RC or release candidates here, here are the top features you should know. Within your settings under privacy and security, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a new section for background security improvements. It should provide additional protection to your iPhone in between software updates, similar to rapid security releases or rapid security response that Apple tried before but rarely used, so hopefully we see more of these. Under display and brightness, you'll see a new section for liquid glass. You can change it from clear to tinted icons. So if you want your notifications or different things throughout the OS to be sort of tinted instead of completely clear, you can do that. So as we wait for this to load, you'll see here that now it's tinted. And if I switch back to clear, you'll see that it's now clear at the bottom. Also within music, you can now swipe between songs directly on the song itself. So just swipe the song title left or right, and you can switch between each one. It also works in the mini player down here as well. Something many people have wanted is if you're on your lock screen, you can swipe over to go into the camera. You can now disable this in iOS 26.1 RC. If we go into our settings, you'll see under the camera settings, there's lock screen swipe to open camera. If we turn this off, lock the display, turn it back on, on, we can no longer open the camera by swiping. Within phone settings, if we scroll down, there's a new option for haptics. It says play haptics when a call is connected or dropped. You can now disable this if you don't want it to shake your phone every time you pick up a call or hang up. iOS 26.1 also adds many new languages for Apple intelligence. It's still in beta where they removed that with beta 4. And if we go into languages, you can see additional languages such as Vietnamese, Turkish, Thai, Swedish, and many others are available now too. There's also more updates in iOS 26 where the UI is more bouncy in the control center and you'll find other changes throughout. The app library is now responding like you would expect, where if you tap into it, you can now search right away, and there's other bug fixes included. Battery life also seems to be improved with this update. On the iPhone Air, I'm getting almost five hours of screen on time, which is definitely an improvement over the two or three I was getting with 26.0.1. Expect iOS 26.1 to release to the public on November 3rd or early next week. There are many more changes that I cover in the full-length video on my channel, so be sure to check it out and subscribe.